They're still assessing the devastation in Central America. More than 20 people were killed and there was extensive damage after two weeks of almost constant rainfall before the storm. Hurricane Nate then picked up speed through the Gulf of Mexico before making landfall on the southeastern coast of the United States with winds of more than 150 kilometers an hour. It is critical uh, that everyone uh, who's been told to evacuate uh, or would like to do so, that they do it now. Those in vulnerable areas were moved to evacuation centers, while others, prepared for uncertainty, stocked up with provisions. Neil Thibodeau in Gulfport, Mississippi, like sailors all along the Gulf Coast, moored his boat as best he could. You have to park it in the middle of a bay, a calm bay, with two anchor ropes, and it, but if one of those break, then you spin around and, and it's going to be in the woods and the marsh. So there's a gamble if you stay, there's a gamble if you take it there. As the storm approached, residents boarded up properties and secured anything the winds might carry away. But it's difficult to prepare when you don't know exactly when or where it's going to strike or how ferocious the hurricane is going to be. And when it does finally hit, it's always stronger and far more frightening than anything you might have prepared for. Memories here are still strong of Hurricane Katrina in 2005, which left about 1,800 people dead and caused an estimated $108 billion worth of damage. But authorities say they're better prepared this time. I want to be really clear. We have sufficient pumps, power and manpower to handle this threat if the rain totals uh, remain as forecast. The people of the U.S. Gulf Coast, with plenty of recent hurricane experience, hope that Nate is listening. So President Trump has declared an emergency uh, situation in both uh, the states of Mississippi and Louisiana, which will enable federal aid to be used uh, in the relief effort. The authorities here also applying measures. Uh, here in New Orleans, has been a cur there'll be a curfew in place throughout the night. There are also other measures uh, in place, uh, people in vulnerable areas being moved to uh, evacuation centers. Uh, also, a great deal of investment has been put uh, into the levees uh, here. It around uh, New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. But it really is a case of watching and waiting to see whether those measures have been sufficient, will be sufficient, when people in, uh, with the light of day start to assess whatever damage Hurricane Nate has brought with it.